Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the iPod on the iPad. Let's go ahead and open it. We've got our icon down here and it brings up the screen just like every other app. Now for the sake of the video I'm going to rotate this in landscape mode. We'll take a second and here we have all the music. I have about 1500 songs. I can browse through my albums just by simply scrolling and I have a couple different view options here. Down at the bottom I have the choice for songs and here we've got all our songs, our artist, the album it's from, and the length. And we can scrub with the different letters of the alphabet by simply dragging our finger or just touching. If I want to go to Q, there's Q. If I want to go to A, there's A for the song name. If we want to go to View by Artists, we can tap Artists. And here's all the different artists. Similar layout. You can see that. How many songs and albums. Here's our album layout, the one we started with. You can see all the albums. We can sort by genre. There we go, alternative, gospel, rock, pop, soundtrack, world. Uh, and we can sort by composers. And here's all the different composers of all the different music we have. And again, you have the quick scrubber on the left. So let's go back to albums. On the left here, we have a couple different options. We have a volume slider. We can also use the volume button at the top. As I move that, or as I tap that, you can see that it slides back and forth. Uh, we also have a bunch of different options on the left, similar to iTunes on your Mac or PC. So we have music, podcasts, audiobooks, genius mixes, purchased, uh, purchased on, I can't see the full thing, um, I'm assuming that's probably purchased on my MacBook or iPhone, I'm not sure. Um, we have a Genius Playlist, we have Five Star Playlist, 90's Music, 2010, uh, Anne Berlin, just some simple things, playlists, things like that, um, that are sorted here. And it goes on to my faves, my favorites, music videos. It's kind of a mess because I haven't really sorted it in iTunes. Uh, I use music for the most part. So let's go back to music. Now down in the bottom left we have a plus button and if we hit that we can make a new playlist by simply tapping that. Brings the keyboard up. Type the playlist name. Uh, we'll just do um, video I guess for the sake of this video and we'll save. So now we have a video playlist, and if we want to add our sources, we can do that. And this would be really nice to see uh, on an iPhone to be as easy to do. Uh, if there's a way to do it, I guess I'm just not aware, but I don't believe there is. So uh, let's say we add this. Um, we hit the plus button to add it, um, or we can just tap the song. Uh, we'll add this, this, I guess uh, scroll down here and add this. When we're done, we hit done, and now we have a new playlist. We hit done and there's our playlist. If we want to edit it, we tap edit. We can add more songs. It's that simple. So let's go back to our music and we'll show you how that works. Um, we'll sort by albums. I like this view the best. And again, you, could, you can do that in portrait or landscape. I prefer landscape. It's just easier to see on the video for everybody here too. So uh, let's go ahead and scroll. Again, scroll with your finger just like anything else. There isn't a pinch or zoom because you want to tap on an album. So for the sake of this, let's uh, check out Mute Math. We'll tap it and you can see that it just spun around and came out. Tap it again, it goes back. Tap, spins out, tap, goes back. That's it. So uh, here's our different songs. To play one, we'll just tap the song. Now, we'll turn this down. Um, the album art comes in, and that's it. We'll rotate as well. And um, if we want to go back, we pinch. It goes back, tap, and that's it. If we want to stop it, we hit the pause button at the top. Play, play. Uh, we have fast forwards and, uh, and uh, rewind if we hold it. If we want to go to the next song, we tap. Real simple, real intuitive. Now we've got 1,500 songs here, so let's do a search. Tap and uh, start with GR, I guess. I can't think of any songs specifically, but there we go. It searched and, and it matched. So we'll hit X and cancel out of that. So that's how we, we can search through the music. Now one of the nice features is, um, I guess we'll just go to uh, this, play this song. The song's playing right now. You can barely hear it, but uh, for copyright reasons, I want to keep that kind of soft. Uh, the music's playing. If I want to keep it playing, I can go back to the home screen, work on pages, 
surf the web, check my email while it's playing. If I want to bring up my player, just like on an iPhone or iPod Touch, we double tap the home button. And we've got our little uh, scrubber here for volume. We've got next, back, and rewind or forward, depending on if you hold it or tap it. And we also can pause the song. If I'm trying to concentrate on pages and typing, uh, I can pause it for a moment. When I run and resume, I resume. If I want to close it, I hit close. If I want to get back to my iPod, I touch iPod, and it just comes right back up. That's really it. Really intuitive. The best version of iTunes, because iTunes on the Mac and PC can be a bit sluggish at times. Really quick. And the one thing I left out is Genius Playlist down here. So let's go ahead and hit that button. And um, we want to choose a song to create a Genius Playlist. I guess we'll choose this song from Mute Math. And that just created a Genius Playlist. That simple, that easy, uh, and that's really it. That's iTunes on the iPad. Uh, oh, let me show you before I go. You've got audiobooks. I don't have any in here, but you can play those. And again, uh, you have podcasts. And uh, I love to listen to podcasts. Listen to them all the time. And we can get more episodes. And that's through iTunes. And we'll show you that another time. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.